Welcome to the September Shade Tree Commission meeting for Town of Weathersfield, Connecticut. Um, tonight is Monday, September 14th, at, and it is 7 o'clock at night. This is a virtual meeting, and in accordance with the Governor's Executive Order 7B, this meeting is being recorded. So I'd first like to call this meeting to order, and is there any public comment? Seeing no public comment, I'll move on to old business. Motion to approve the July Shade Tree Commission meeting minutes. That's our that's our most recent meeting, not having a uh, an August meeting this year. I'll make a motion to approve the July minutes. All right. Uh, is there a second? Can I second my motion? I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay. Um, maybe this won't be binding, but uh, but this is who's in attendance now, so I'll, I'll have to answer that question later. Um, all in favor of approving the July minutes? Aye. Aye. With a uh, representation of two commission members, there are two, and, and that's all that's in attendance. There are there are two votes to approve the July minutes. <clears throat> that that may have to be you know revisited. <clears throat> new business. Um, that's that's all for old business. Moving on to new business. I just like to present and discuss the 2020 planting um, finished product. We have, we always start out with a goal when it comes to planting and there's sometimes some game time decisions and uh, some different results than what we had, what we had hoped for or initially planned on or sort of had a rough draft on. So, the, let me see how many it is. The spring, or it was actually June, with with how things worked out this year. The trees that got planted in 2020 for Town of Weathersfield, there was I see 20 trees that we were able to get in the ground. Um, thanks, thanks to um, our, our own budget this time and also a $200 donation from uh, an individual wishing to place a weeping willow on uh, near, near Mikey's place across from 303 Garden Street, Hubbard Place intersection. But um, there probably were some changes um, for species selection and in some cases, in some cases where we hope to put two trees, there was only one. Um, and there was essentially a, <clears throat> there was essentially the one change that I can, that I can recall. <clears throat> 323 Main Street had a dead sugar maple that we addressed in June. And then we replanted for them later than most of the other planting. And we gave them two trees um, where it looked like there had at one point been two trees. We, we replaced one tree with two in this calendar year. So there's a Japanese maple there on the north side of the property or the north uh, town right of way of the property and out in front. And then we had placed a purple weeping beach, a European beach um, near the driveway, which is the south exposure they have to the Hartford Ave right away. Did I say Hartford Ave? I meant yeah. Main Street. Mm -hmm. We transplanted that tree because, um, you know, they just hated it. And I wanted to, I wanted to do what we could to, uh, I do. I do hope to replant that area, but I. But I felt like it was. Um, 
you know, it was something I, I felt like they brought a reasonable, a reasonable conversation to, and I wanted to, I wanted to um, try to make them happy and, and show them that we can go above and beyond and, and, and address that request. We tried transplanting that tree after it was planted um, to the rear border of the Mikey's Place playground <clears throat> and unfortunately didn't survive. And, and part of that is because um, the methods that you have to use when you transplant after initial planting, I mean, number one, that's very stressful on a tree, but um, we just weren't able to grab a lot of soil with it. So it was, it was tough logistically having completely unpacked the root ball um, with the initial planting. And then um, it was planted in July. And of course, that's a stressful time of year. We were very dry this year. And then also we got hit by Hurricane SAEs. And that, that because of how much of an emergency it was from a storm damage perspective, we, we missed a few weeks of, of watering that we would have liked to have. And uh, it just totally dropped its leaves within a week. Um, Other than that, you know, there might have been some species differences or variety differences where we had chosen chosen one and just and just the nursery stock looked better for a different variety that would also suit the same area that was that was discussed here. I'm just going to, for the sake of public record, hold up this uh, this list. Is that visible or is that backwards, Mark? No, I that's I can see that. Looks good. On my camera, that's backwards, but I hope that is somewhat helpful. Where this was a supporting document, but not actually part of the agenda. So I just I just wanted to have that be publicly visible. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Any comments, Mark? No, I have that uh, that same printout here. Okay. All right, so we are gonna move on to the second item of new business, which is there's a request to remove three shade trees, which is two hickory trees and a red maple from the forest border at the left or the east side of the lighted little league ball field near the end parking lot of mill woods so um, anyone anyone viewing this meeting or or, or listening in um, feel free to contact me for some details on uh on what we're talking about there uh, there probably will be some some in between time before if this gets approved that we do do the removals but just the just the rationale here is um, these trees are, are completely healthy and, and part of the forest border um, in the woods in the area discussed. But um, upon the, the recommendations of our parks department that takes care of the turf that's on the Little League field so that we have a nice durable surface, they're, they're suggesting that um, the tree, and, and I agree with their assessment, the trees have kind of grown up since the field was constructed in such a way that it makes it um, a, a few less hours of sunlight um, you know daily that that the turf gets and that and cutting these trees down will be um, well first of all not not have a harmful effect on the forest where we're looking to leave a lot of understory trees and and uh, and not do anything along the lines of clear cutting, but sort of leave the saplings in the vicinity. And and uh, also just you know, like I said, improve sunlight and airflow on this on this area. Probably a benefit to both fields that are there. Um, any any comment on that? No. All right. Um, And we may have to revisit this line item with only the two of us here, Mark. Okay. 
Um, but just for what it's worth or what it might be worth, let's um, let's let me make a motion to to remove these trees and uh, and we'll just sort of see how it goes. Um, motion to remove the three shade trees discussed in uh, in this current line item: the two hickory and one red maple. From the forest border at the left or east side of the Little League lighted ball field near Millwoods, up near the gravel parking lot. Is there a second? Seeing no second, um, we'll have to revisit this item another time. And, uh, and I'll just move on to the next item of new business, request to remove declining white pine at the left or east side of Dick Dobmeyer Lane, which is the Millwoods driveway. This declining white pine is approximately halfway down from Prospect Street, the Prospect, is it Street? Yep. So it's approximately halfway down from the entrance of the park to the to the um, tennis courts on the left. And it's been showing some decline for some time, um, maybe a few years, and it looks like it, it won't be able to make a recovery at this point. Um, it's missing some bark and some upper extremities, and it's largely completely defoliated and, and, and was very thin to say, to, to put it lightly this year. Any discussion on that? Uh, no, I agree to uh, make a motion to remove it. All right. I will second the motion. All in favor of removing this white pine? Aye. Seeing two votes. And uh, seeing two votes and uh, with without the knowledge of whether or not that can be binding, will it say it's tentatively approved but it, it may not be some, it may be something we have to revisit again. Okay. Um, just before we move on from that, there were um, quite a few um, removals around, or there was there was a lot of pruning we did in this area around Loretta's Dream Pavilion. Um, there was there was there was a number of trees, probably six trees we pruned and two trees that we decided were imminent hazards that did not go need, did, that did not need to come before the commission in this case that were that were over there by the gravel bike path or the stone dust bike path by the upper pond and then one that was very near the the grill that's connected with the loretta's dream pavilion just just uh i just wanted to make people aware of that 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 was that was something that we felt was imminent hazard, um, that not, not to wait for the Shade Tree Commission review. Thank you. You're welcome. Moving on to July work completed. Um, any any comments uh, or questions on that? Uh, I looked over. Good job. You guys got a lot done. Thank you. It was a good July and August only had one day before Hurricane Asais and that day was essentially in preparation for what was then known to be a serious threat, you know, to Connecticut and to Wethersfield. So that was essentially a preparatory day for us. And so Tuesday the 4th was the hurricane. Um, and, and essentially, so, so this is moving on to uh, item number six, which is August work completing, completed, forgive me. Um, essentially the, the work there, I hope understandably was not well recorded because of the emergency, emergency nature of the time. Right. You know? Essentially, I did not have the time to to be carefully going through things 
and, and recording them as we were doing them. I, uh, I put here that there was probably hundreds of situations we addressed and notably we had all the town roads open by Saturday, August 8th. There was a curbside uh, brush collection program and there were a lot of overtime hours worked by many staff, including us above and beyond just the two of us that are on the tree crew. We had a lot of support from our parks and highway departments that, and even and even some of the trades that work alongside of us to, to all be kind of all hands on deck with, with trees for at least a couple of weeks until it, until it shifted back to other priorities a little bit. Um, we are still dealing with that uh, hurricane Asais damage, absolutely. And we're also, and we're now sort of marrying, we're now sort of marrying those storm damage priorities with previous or new priorities. That's kind of where we are, is you'll still see a lot of, a lot of hurricane damage out there in hopefully the more remote and secondary areas like uh, backyards where town property abuts backyards or um, the hiking trails have not been inspected yet. I usually try to inspect uh, the Millwoods trails and then the Wintergreen Woods trails um, following, following a, a, a storm incident as one of my one of my last things in order to in order to call a, a situation handled not gotten to that point yet um <clears throat> any comments on august work completed well i'll say the town did a tremendous job with the tree removal and curbside pickup because oh, those brush piles disappeared i mean i saw them go <laughs> thank you yeah it's uh it was really noticeable, those trucks come and going, come and going, what, six days a week, seven days, whatever it was, they were yep. moving. It was a lot of hours. Yeah. Um, I know that for some of that, there were contractors brought on so that it was a little more timely. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Don't want to forget anything, but the next item it's just to adjourn. And, uh, too bad we didn't have really good attendance tonight, but um, thanks for joining, Mark. And yeah, uh, thanks for, for doing it. Thanks. I'd like to just make a motion. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Seeing your motion, all in favor. I second it, all in favor. Say aye. Aye. Uh, meeting adjourned. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks, Corey. Have a great night. Thank you. See you next time.